Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna try to uh, try and apply a fix to this problem. Uh, whenever uh, I try to install the MySQL server, the installer fails at initializing database. And I've been trying to uh, fix this since the very early morning and uh, finally I came to find a fix on the MySQL website. I'll, sub I'll keep the link uh, in the description below. Anyways, uh, let's move quickly and uh, see how to fix this. So the, the first step is gonna be uninstalling MySQL server and Workbench just to have a, a fresh and clean start. And that's gonna be through the installed app section. Okay, we can access this one uh, through uh, the start menu, installed apps and go to the installed apps. And then we're gonna uninstall the MySQL installer, MySQL server, MySQL Workbench 8.0, okay? After that, we're gonna have to delete any uh, created files in the file directory. So we're gonna go to program files and delete MySQL file. And uh, let's see here if we're gonna find one. Okay, so there is another one here that we're gonna delete. We're gonna have to delete. After that, now uh, comes the fix. And uh, we're gonna have to go to the registry editor and that's gonna be through either way going to the start menu type in registry editor and accessing this one or through the shortcut windows r and then type in this reg edit 32 and then okay and then you press yes we're gonna have to go to this uh we're gonna have to navigate to uh, parameters of tcp ip and that's gonna be uh that's a simple maneuver. Let's go back to the start here. Okay. So, H key local machine, system, current control set. We open services. And then after services, we head to TCP IP. Okay. TCP IP. You can just start typing on the keyboard and it will take you directly to where you want to go. So parameters. And here we're going to create two values. Creating a value is quite simple. Right click, new, and we're going to create a D word value. Both the values are going to be D word values. And the name for the first value is going to be max user port, max user port. And the value is 65,534. So right click, D word we're gonna name it since I have it already created here I'm gonna add one but I'm gonna delete it afterwards just for the sake of demonstrating and we said the value is six five five three four double click six five five three four and then you press OK okay I'm gonna delete this one just because I have it already created here six five five three four we're gonna do the same maneuver the word value and this time it's gonna be named TCP timed wait delay TCP timed wait delay okay TCP timed wait delay uh, you just copy and paste everything from the description box okay and uh, yeah because I have it already so uh, the value for this one is gonna be 30 okay 30 and then okay and that's it I'm gonna delete this one after this, we close the registry editor and we restart our machine. So first step, you install in MySQL server and workbench, deleting MySQL file directory, uh, editing the registry by creating the two values, restarting the computer, and after restarting the computer, all, you, all you're gonna have to do is start the uh, installer once again and just redo the installation process. And uh, hopefully this time it's gonna work. For me, it worked. I hope it works for you. And as I mentioned earlier, or did I? I don't remember. Anyways, the fix is well explained uh, on the MySQL website in case you're interested in the technicality of things. But uh, I just don't care. I just wanted to get a quick fix and that's it. Anyways, that's it. Thank you. Bye.